Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not have to pretend Like there is no way out Hey, so welcome back to my channel Um, Right now I want to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of content day And how do I pack my clothes, what I pack, whatever, blah 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 So basically I just want to give you guys a rundown I pack multiple outfits and I take bulk pictures. Most of the pictures that you see me take, some, some most of the time, nine times out of ten, it's already been taken a week in advance or at least five, four to five days in advance simply because I do work full time and I just don't have the time to do it while working my nine to five, while running my business, while trying to vlog for you guys and running TikTok and all that, I just don't have the time. And I also, I know there's a lot of girlies out there that's killing the game with taking their own pictures. My goal on my bucket list for this year is to learn how to take my own pictures. But it's just easier when someone's taking it for me. I know that a lot of people use the app Lens Buddy with their tripod to take their own pictures. But I find out that it comes, the pictures look a little bit blurry. It looks different. I know that people use an app called Remy sometimes to... Just make the picture more clearer, but I don't really like that look. So in the meantime, in between time, while I'm blessed to have a good friend that comes with me every single time, it's content day for me and take my pictures. I'm going to accept that and I'm going to work with it. So I'm going to show you guys as to what I'm bringing tomorrow. So right now it's sloppy, but I just, I'm right now I'm doing like, my camera is being so weird like not focusing i hate that but right now i'm shooting a particular theme maybe you guys will get it but um i'll talk more about it when obviously i upload the video but these are my shoes if my camera will focus these are my shoes i'm not sure if y'all could see me good or whatever but i'm tired of fighting with this camera but um so i got cut off last night when i was trying to tell you guys that basically i started Renton Studios to take my pictures because I live in New York and we get winters here and honestly it's just it's so hard to take the pictures that I want to take sometimes when it's really cold so it's just easier for me to just start Renton Studios now and they're actually not that expensive at all um they are rented by the hour and they have all different types of studios so that's my new flex, and um, right now I just finished my hair. Leave my baby hairs. I sleeked my swoop, and I'm about to just make some breakfast really quickly. Um, it's 9:16. I've been up since I think 6:30 because even when I'm off, I my uh, my body has an alarm clock, so I'm still up early, and I have the studio from 12 to 2, I believe. So I want to shoot two videos. Um, two short lookbook videos, I think, is what I'm going for. And then, yeah, I should be done. Then I want to shoot some content on my phone for TikTok as teasers to lead people from my TikTok and Instagram to my YouTube channel. Because, obviously, the goal is to grow. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Hey, you guys. So, I got finished around two, and then I went and got Chick-fil-A. I didn't really record because I wanted to save camera space, but I was definitely able to get the shoe video, which I'm so happy about. You guys are definitely going to see that video before you see this vlog. Um, it's New Year's Eve, and I just posted a picture on Instagram, and it's doing exceptionally well. I posted a video on how I cut my shirts down the middle, my DIYs, and that's doing exceptionally well. Happy about that. I was going to take a picture for Tailored Mings today and put it on the page, but my acne's flaring up. And I really don't like the way my makeup came out today. And I definitely over bronze. I never thought I would say that because I love bronzer, but it's definitely giving... It's definitely giving Snooky from Jersey Shore. But I'm about to head to bed. It's going on 8.30. And I was really supposed to go to bed before that. I, but I really had to make sure that I put away everything and cleaned up my house. Because 
my mom used to be like, you don't come into the new year, like, with, like, a dirty house. Like, not that my house is dirty, but, you know, like, a messy house. So, I have to follow that tradition. Because she's like, you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? You, and then, you know, my ex-mother, um, my ex's mother used to be like, you always have money in your pocket. That's just some things that I go by still. Um, like, cashing in, like, physical cash on you. Because it promotes, like... You receiving a lot of money in the new year. So, um, I'm curious about what you guys, what are your, what, what am I trying to say? I'm curious about you guys' new year traditions. Like, are you going to church? You remember when people used to go to church and do the lock-in? I used to hate when my mom used to take us there. We used to have to go to church and do, like, the lock-in. We used to go to Greater Bethel right there on Jamaica Avenue in Queens Village. Y'all, we used to be locked in there till 12 o'clock praying. God, I used to be sick. I love Jesus still to this day, but Jesus, like, there for hours? Whew. But let me know down below in the description bar, like, what do y'all do? Somebody was telling me on TikTok. Ask on TikTok. Somebody was telling me on TikTok that, um, that they eat black eyed peas. Apparently, that's for good luck. I had no idea about it. I've ne actually never had black eyed peas. Maybe I should try it. Also... I hit 15K on here. Not 15K. God, look at me manifesting shit. I hit 1,500. And I told you guys, when I hit 1,500, I would be doing a giveaway. Um, I'm not sure what the rules of the giveaway is going to be. I'm so I'm so stuck. So if you guys have any um, suggestions, let me know. Um, it's definitely going to be a gift card. And it's definitely going to be to like a clothing store. Because I feel like I got my following on TikTok. And most of the people on TikTok follow me over here. And I feel like my following was for um, just the way I dress. So, I definitely feel like it's going to be a gift card for a clothing store. Probably pretty little things because I feel like Zara is a bit more um, pricier. And I feel like you could get more of pretty little things because they always have in the sale. They always have a discount code. So, I want to do that. I'm pretty... I know for a fact it's going to be one person. I could do... I could add something else in there like for like a runner up i don't know i'll figure it out but i need to touch me up y'all i love my face y'all y'all gotta come see her i'm gonna um i'm gonna put her tag on the screen so if you're in queens or if you're in new york you can come and get your makeup done so you could be a little bitch i look so good i'm so happy guys and she got my under eye brights which I was worried, but clearly for no reason. But yeah, I'm ready to go to my shoot now. I got my hair done by Claude, obviously. But, okay. What's happening over there? They processing? Um, I'm by the Barclays Center and I'm having Chick-fil-A. Ah! On the way to my shoot. This is literally my third time ever in life having Chick-fil-A. They don't have a lot everywhere in New York. They only have in Long Island and Brooklyn. So, well, I think they got in Queens until tomorrow. But, yeah. The lighting in here sucks ass, y'all. Sorry. I feel like I, I just did that simply because I feel like my camera, like the shutter is like moving in slow motion. I feel like I'm always going to Best Buy, but I'm tired of going there, y'all. Can you see me? I'm taking that shit to the Best Buy before the night is over because my shutter, you see that? I don't know if maybe I could see it, but on my end, it's look like my hand is moving supersonically fast. Whatever. I have to get dressed because the photographer said that he is three minutes away and I gotta pee. Now it's going. It was gonna, I wanted them to know that it was like about eyelashes. I didn't want them to think. I'm at the second spot right now. One thing about it, I'm going to have me a strawberry aside with lemonade. What y'all be drinking from Starbucks? I like fruity fruit drinks. Let me know. Never, my brother's on the line. You know how these jail clothes be? Guess who's home? I'm home. I just wiped my face off. Or whatever. And today was really productive. 
I feel good, but I'm so tired. And I think it's just because I haven't been getting sleep. But that shoot, y'all, it was so fire. I know y'all saw a little bit of behind the scenes. I'm not going to show y'all all of it. Because I want y'all to be surprised when I post it. Um, but can we talk about something that's really exciting for me? Like, I've reached 100K on TikTok. Like, I always knew I would get there. And I'm not even trying to be cocky. I just feel like because I put my mind to it and I told myself, like, I wanted to build on all my platforms. And I've been taking you guys along with me when I've been trying to do my content day. Not trying. When I've been doing my content days and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just, it's just a moment of, yeah, Britt, you did that shit. Like, you said you was going to do it and you did it. Like, that's just where I'm at. Like, I feel like. Man, I did that shit. We did that shit. Like, shout out to everybody that follows me on my social medias. I Like, I appreciate y'all so much. It's just that I told myself, like, I wanted to be consistent. And it's just like, wait. We we five days into the new year. And I... Uh, when did I get it? Yesterday? I feel like... I got it the fourth. And I told myself before the year is up that I wanted to get it. But, you know, it happened. It happened, and you know I'm growing on my Instagram as well, and I feel so good. Like I feel so good. I feel like I'm closer to my goals. I'm closer to my dreams. I've been talking to God. I've been I've been telling Him what I want. I've been telling Him the desires of my heart, and I've been following Him, and I've been letting Him lead me, and it feels so good because my angels are protecting me, and I'm just so grateful, and I can't wait. Like it's just it's just more of a solidification for me to know that anything I put my mind to. Anything that my heart desires with just consistency and working hard and just being genuine, that is going to happen. I feel so good, y'all. I feel so good. Like, I'm about ready to go get me um, 100K balloons. Go get me the, the, the one, two zeros, and a K and take a picture with it. Like, that's how I'm feeling because I feel like that's a milestone and it's an accomplishment. And I can't wait till all my platforms are aligned and... All of them, I have the same matching number. Because I'm going to do it. And I'm so great. I'm so grateful for you guys and the following. I had said I wanted to do a giveaway. I just don't know how I want to do it. How do I pick the person? So I'm trying to figure that out. But that's coming. I also want to do something special for you guys. Just like, just like I want to just pop up and do something. Like, you know, for you guys. And, um... I'm going to figure that out. But you guys have to make sure you're following me on my other social networks. Like, mostly on my Instagram as well, too. Because when I post in my story about what I'm going to do for you guys, I want you guys to be the first ones to be able to collect it. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to bed because I got work in the morning. But, yeah, definitely going to see me this weekend because I have pictures to take. And I want to go a couple places. So hopefully that gets to happen. But I wanted to go when one of my shoes arrived. Because obviously it makes the fit. Because I want to take a fire ass picture. Um, I also have some things that came from Zara. And I have some things from Pretty Little Things. And I want to show you guys. So we can do that tomorrow because it's really late right now and I have to go to bed. But thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys and I know y'all love me so thank you for fucking with me. Hey bitches, um, just joking, I ain't mean nothing by it, don't be trying to come for me, but I'm on my way to work, and are y'all feeling the bob? What's your name, B.O.B., so they calling you the bob, 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 anyway, I'm on my way to work, and it's about 6 o'clock, and, um, I have a dermatology appointment at 2.30, so I'm leaving early, always an excuse to leave early, fuck, you know, because, why do I even work? I feel like they should pay me for showing up. Like, I, sh I don't even feel like I should do anything. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. And then I have a nail appointment with Tosh at 4 o'clock. So, yeah. And then I might get my toes done if I have time in between or whatever. But if not, I'll just do it over the weekend. So, I'm trying to still wait to see if my shoes are going to come. Because I want to go. I told you guys, oh, there's a couple of places I want to go to. And I need the shoes. I'm back. I didn't even tell you guys. I started... I've been wanting to use, um, like, uh, aluminum-free deodorant because I was tired of my black-ass armpits. Like, it's just ridiculous. I mean, obviously, as a black woman, the corners of my mouth is darker. My elbows is darker. My hoots can't a little browner. But, you know, like, I was tired of it, so 
I was running out of my um, Dove Advanced deodorant that's supposed to help it lighten your armpits, which it did lighten it, but like it doesn't really stay there. Like I think your body gets used to it. So I wanted to go for something called Cosa Sport um, deodorant, but they didn't. They had it on. They didn't have it on Prime on Amazon, and what they did have it was mass expensive, like thirty dollars for a deodorant. Never in my life. I was so taken aback. But um. I'm trying out Native, the lime and cucumber one. I'm actually taking it in my bag today because it's the first day. And I don't want to be out here smelling green. Bitch, and I put on perfume, which I probably should never did because you can't really mix stink and sweet. But one thing I'll say about myself is that I don't really sweat. I really, I'm not a sweater, so I should be okay. But I'll let you guys know. But I'm just tired of my black ass armpits, honestly. It's something about this hair and this outfit that's giving auntie. And not in a good way. But, um... The hardest part about picking, about doing a photo shoot is picking the pictures. See, the thing about it is to the naked eye, all the pictures look the same. But I promise you, there's always a slight difference like in the way your head is tilted or the way your hand is positioned. And that is like such a hard part. Um, and then it's like you also have to envision what the pictures would look like edited because right now like you might look a little oily You might have a little texture on the skin. You might have a roll or two out of place You know your rolls could be acting up. They could be very pronounced, but you got to keep in mind that You got to trust in your photographer and know that he's gonna He gonna make a do with a do baby and that's what I'm going for. He was like really big on my jewelry to shoot. Just which, cause I really feel like accessorizing really makes like a picture, like makes a picture. I didn't want to do too much because I didn't want my consumers to be confused as to what I'm selling. Like I hate when I look on, on like any advertisement and I'm confused as to what they're selling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like in the past, like I did a lot of shoots whereby I was uberly sexy and I'm just a naturally sexy person like I'm not even trying to be funny like I feel like I have sex appeal though like all jokes to the side and I feel like I have a very curvy body so I'm like leaning towards like I want to be grown and sexy I feel like you could be sexy and have your clothes on as well and it's just like I'm over it like I had like so many pictures where I look like a video vixen or a bottle girl nothing wrong with that at all love them love looking at them because them bitches is bad but it's just not what i want for myself anymore so i took those pictures off my page and honestly when i move and i get my apartment i'm definitely gonna put them up because yeah like i did that but you know and it's definitely something i'm gonna put in my scrapbook but like moving forward especially with shoots towards like my brand i want to be more creative i want to like really think out the box i feel like this shoot right here was like the first photo shoot and whereby i really started thinking outside the box and thinking of how i can market in a different way and just like be cute and like draw people in for them to figure out what is she doing like what is she selling and they, you know they'll see what i'm selling and like you know be intrigued and and buy something god willing always god willing so that's what I'm doing. Um, I asked my sister for her opinion on a couple um, pictures because I like to narrow them down and send them to like my sister and like Dominique. I don't do, I don't send them out to too much people simply because too many chefs in the pot spoil the soup. So, you know, too many opinions. So, yeah, I try to like, you know, narrow it down. So, that's what I'm doing. And. Hey y'all, I'm at the dermatologist. Um, I feel like I have like a, a wart trying to grow on my foot, so I'm gonna get um, free sprayed again. Um, I have some moles that I want her to burn off because what the fuck? I just feel like as soon as I started getting older, like I started getting filled up with moles. Like, I don't know, people say it's hereditary. This lady at my job tries to talk about it's my chains. I ain't never heard of it, but. Also, I want her to inject my incision on my boobs because y'all know I got a reduction and all that. I had a procedure. This is nitrogen and that freezes like off war. This is a steroid. I oh, got what the fuck is called. I get it all the time. I don't know why. I can't remember what it's called. But it's a scrotozone. Like, you know, like, sorry for flipping the camera. I'm adjusting the light again. 
So, you know, like a cortisone shot, like a hydrocortisone if you were like having like a flare up. So, like, basically you can put that in, um, I can't speak right now. I'm so tired. I was falling asleep about that. Basically, you can put that, like, if you have an inflamed pimple or something like that, you can get a cortisone shot in it and it would literally flatten it by like the next day and all that. So I tend to get that. So I'm gonna wait for her to come in. Uh, we're gonna talk about the the new medicine that she put me on to even out my skin. I know my skin probably looks a little blotchy right now, but it only looks like that because I'm trying to even it out. It's Jasmine. This bitch always wanna call me. It's I'm talking to YouTube. Why you mad, bitch? Yeah. Oh, you're taking pictures. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm burning. Burning. Yeah. So I just burned my moles because ill. And um, I just love talking to her because she just gives like new innovative ways on how I can help my skin. Like right now we're looking into a laser called Fraxel Laser that'll help with my hyperpigmentation. So it's expensive, but fuck it. So it's my titties. And I'm about to go see Tosh to get my nails done. So let's go. Everything is like dying, y'all. Like everything. My phone, my damn camera. I wanted to show oh. Can you see my nails? Can you see them bitches? How about now? Do you see them? We put like a little flower in it because I felt like it was looking too plain. I don't know if you guys can see good. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe you can't see it all, but I felt like they was looking plain. Like, at first, I went ahead to put rhinestones all around here every nail. And I know she low-key just didn't want to do it. She was like, no. But, I mean, it would have took forever. But also, I hate rhinestones. They snag in your hair. They be pulling on, pulling the little hairs out your frontal. And um, the way how they up the prices on frontals, like, yeah. Little mama can't afford that. Um, So, mm. But, um, yeah, everything is dying. I have some... I did order some pieces from Zara. That's my favorite. So what the fuck y'all want me to say? Like every time I do my old TDs on TikTok, y'all be like, oh, I knew you was going to say Zara. Well, bitch, I'm going to stop saying it then because now y'all embarrassing me. Y'all embarrassing me. Y'all supposed to be my queen because yeah, that's my favorite story. I don't know what to say. I think of Zara like a sophisticated upscale Forever 21. Because, you know, Forever 21, I haven't shopped there in so long. I barely get stuff from there because it's like you'll have a cute shirt and then they put a fucking pizza on the back of it. Like, whatever. I'm about to just finish up writing in my journal. Somebody texted me. It's never a fucking man, but in my five-minute journal. Um, I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. I have a package from Pretty Little Things. I have a shoe package, I think, from Ego Official. And I have a Zara package. Do I have anything else? I think i have an amazon package um i ordered a curler dryer but i also ordered some things for my sister for the baby you guys know i'm an aunt again so we'll see if um what's in that package um i'm just gonna finish up writing in my journal it's asking me what's three amazing things that happened today hi my husband when we on our date, or, like, when we get married, like, when we establish, like, when he put a ring on it and be like, oh, I'm his fiance, you know how people be like, like, you know, acting like that when they be crying and stuff like that, when the man be on his knee or whatever, I'm gonna punch that bitch in the head. You know I'm gonna punch him in the head? Because, bitch, what the fuck took you so long? You had me out here with these fucking weirdos? You had me out here with these fucking weirdos? Ugh. The shit I had to go through to get to you, child. You deserve a good lick. So, I'm going to hit his ass. No, I'm not. For anybody out there starts crying and starts fucking with me thinking that I believe in domestic violence. It does go both ways. <laughs> but, yeah. Guys, I didn't even tell you. 
my deodorant remember i told you i got the native deodorant i don't even fucking stink <laughs> so this is this is a good sign let's see as the days progress because this was only day one let's see when my body really gets used to not having aluminum under my armpits so let's see what happens good morning i ain't going nowhere because it's really snowing out this bitch i'm really about to make some fucking breakfast oh i don't know why i'm cursing i'm cursing because i have added to my camera's dying too so I'm going to put it on the shower, on the camera. I'm going to put it on the charger, take a shower, eat some breakfast, and come back. Yeah, so my camera is still not fully charged. I don't understand what's going on, why it's not fully charged, but it's really annoying me. Ew, I didn't mean to zoom in. Whatever. So I got some stuff that I was telling you guys about yesterday. Now I wanted to open. I have some orders. Oh, I bought this from my sister. I got her like some baby Aveeno. I don't know if it's too bright in here. I turned on my lights because when I didn't have the lights on, it's like you could barely see the camera. So whatever. And I bought her like a little plastic from Amazon for the stroller. But um, yeah, I bought her. She asked for the Aveeno, but I was asking her anyway. And she's getting ready to have the baby. What's she going to do to Avino? Because it's just been like so much problems with like Johnson & Johnson. They're giving you coochie cancer. They just, they vaccines is not hitting. It's, there's no reason that that powder that we put everywhere should be like giving you cancer. And I got a new curling iron. It's one of those flat iron curling irons. You know what I'm talking about? It clearly makes sense where like, you know, it's technically a flat iron, but like the edges of the the iron is rounded so like you can do like those curls like you know them curls that flat irons give you i really was never the girl that knew how to curl my hair with a flat iron but stuff like this will make it easy i have a little bob now and that's what my beautician was curling my hair but she's curling my hair with the baby bliss and baby bliss is mad expensive and honestly i'm not gonna lie people really sleep on con air. i think maybe because it's it's in a drugstore that people just think that con air can't do the fucking job it does a fucking job for me every time, so. Like, I don't know. I think sometimes we get too caught up in, um, and just, like, name brands. Like, you know, I'm not close to the camera. I look very ugly. Like, you know, I think sometimes we just get caught up in, like, name brands. Like, and we got to be careful with that. Because you could really miss out on good products and good things because you're so, because you want... A particular name brand like because it's been around for a while I'm not saying that things that, that's been around for a while isn't good but it's just like sometimes you're just buying shit for the name like you go to amber combi efficient you get a t-shirt i used to work there years ago but you i used to buy a t-shirt and that shit would get a hole in it so quick and it's like a white t-shirt and it's like because i love white shirts like I, oh i'm always gonna have a white shirt and i get that from my mom i got that from my mom but um it's just like, why was I so stuck on buying a t-shirt for them? Because they was popular at the time. Because they was in. So, it was like, and you know, oh, I wanted to get it because other people get it. But them shits was getting holes in it. And, bitch, I damn sure used to go to Rainbow and get my 3 for 10 t-shirts that had, like, the thick v-neck. And, um, and it was tight fan. Made my titties look mad good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... We focus on the wrong shit sometimes. Like, we be worried about labels too much. I'm not a materialistic person, but I notice, like, people are really stuck on labels. And it's like, do you really, do you really like it because you like it? Or do you like it because somebody rapped about it? Or because <laughs> you've seen a certain celebrity and you don't even like it? Like, one thing about me, I'm going to do me. I'm going to live, I'm going to live my life how I want to live it. <laughs> I ain't worried about nobody else. Because y'all be killing yourself trying to keep up with the Joneses. And... Y'all look dumb. Y'all y'all done got the suspense stuff, and now your rent is lacking. Bad bitches pay their rent before anything. That's a fact. But um, enough of my rent. But I got these really cute shoes. As I talk about, like, I don't really do dupes. Like, I feel like my models, if I want it, if I can't afford the real version of something, I don't want it. But I feel like. Y'all know how I feel like about Amina shoes. Like, Amina shoes, I really love them. And this is not, like, an outright knockoff. Like, you could tell. Like, I wouldn't call it a knockoff. I would call it just, like, a dupe. Like, or a replica. Like, a um, 
No, not a replica, because that would be what's the word? Like a um I insp like they were inspired by her when they made it. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm never gonna violate, but it's so cute. Let me try to turn the, the lighting down so you can see better. How cute, y'all. I did get a bigger size because sometimes in sling bags, I don't ever want it to look like my foot is hanging off the fucking bag. And then I got these court shoes from, I'm not turning on the light in, from Ego Official as well. Ain't they cute? My favorite color is pink. So, yeah. And I'm wearing like a lot of pink this week. So, these were the shoes I was waiting to come so I could wear them. It's snowing outside, but, um, oof. it's snowing outside, but for the purpose of taking pictures, I'm going to take it with me for like Cinderella. I think I had got these in the bigger size too, simply because I wanted them to fit. Lord, I'm probably going to have to get these shit stretched, but. It won't be happening today because baby girl's taking a picture in this motherfucker. Um, I had on a similar coat in my OOTD and I took a picture in a, on Instagram. I really like how the buckles on the wrist of this jacket looks. It just, it's gathered and it just looks cute. I don't know what's going on here with this hand, but. And honestly, I put on black with it. I thought I would have to wear like a light color, like white, but I put on with this black shirt. It actually looks cute. But, um, yeah. This is, like, the same one in black. Um, it's oversized. And my fucking camera is dying again, bro. Like, ew. That is so ghetto. Every time that shit be under lights, it just be acting like it wanna die. Like, like, live a little, my nigga. Anyway. Hey, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find good lighting. I just wanted to show you guys the perfume that I'm wearing. And it's... By Dolce & Gabbana in this garden. It's called Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Sorry, I'm like rushing. Okay, you guys. So, I'm still at... What is this called? This is called MT and Fleshing. So, I'm still here. Look how cute the little fumbles. I refuse to touch it because somebody was breathing up in there with COVID. But, um, I just changed my clothes. And now I'm going to the next location. Because I'm really trying to do like this pink thing. I'm going to try to see how this works out. But, yeah. So come on, let's go. So tell me why we came this um this location. I went to what furry cats or is it fuzzy cats? Z, what's it called? Fuzzy cats. Fuzzy cats, whatever. But they have more than one location. So I'm like looking for the arcade, looking for the arcade, and it's like, bitch. So I just I'm like, no, I can't get over it. Like they only had like one little game in here. So I'm like, let me ask the man. He was like, yeah, the location is right here. We went to a different location. I didn't even know they had more than one. But it's so cute in here. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And yeah. So I'm at Queen Center Mall with my niece. I'm going to take her to get a couple things. Um, yeah. I'm in the food court. I'm at Chick-fil-A. My third time eating it. Um, and we're waiting for our food. Fiance, do you want to say hi today? Hi. She's saying hi today after she blocked me. Remember you guys, I told you? But yeah. She's in a good mood because she just went shopping. And I didn't get anything for me because I really have to say, like, the way how I've been spending these last couple of months is really crazy. So, I got my Chick-fil-A. I'm going to drop my Nisi Poo off and then I'm going to go home. See you guys soon. Hey y'all. Home. I've been home for a little bit. Watching TikTok, making TikTok so I can post another day. But uh, I'm going to bed now. Hey guys. Am I in pink again? Yes. Is pink my favorite color? Yes. Is it my favorite color to wear? No. That would be white. But I wanted to share with you guys I'm wearing Prada Candy. Um... And we're going to the museum of ice cream. So I feel like my outfit is fitting. Let me show you guys my fit. So same sweatpants from yesterday from the Zara set. Um, and then I have on a Zara cardigan. 
And I have on my Nikes. I forgot what you call these shits. Vapor Runners. Is it Vapor Runners? Yeah. Whatever. Vapor Max. Vapor. <laughs> It's mad bright out here. I keep trying to fix the damn lighting on the camera. But whatever. Anyway, I just left the museum. And I'm walking to Zara. Because why the fuck not, right? Oh, yeah, like my bag is from Zara, so. Shit, the whole outfit is from Zara. Oh, my goodness, Zara. Because I'm already here. And I really don't need to buy anything. But since I'm here, I might as well look, right? Hey, guys. I ordered my Southern Girl Soulful. You know I get it. Off uh, from Merrick Boulevard in queens it's so freaking good but right now i'm about to try out this bakery i think it's black owned it's right here on Merrick boulevard i can't even see i can't even see what it's called but i'm about to go in there because yeah because <laughs> These are the cupcakes that I got from Sweet Delights Bakery on Merrick Boulevard. So I think this one is red velvet. This is like coconut something. It got like a shot in it. I don't even remember what these are, y'all. I think this one is the, um, I couldn't tell you. I know that one's cookie dough and it's smushed. It was like a bowl of cookie dough. This one, I wanted this. I think it was like cinnamon something, caramel something. So I'm excited to eat these. I wanted to sit, bring some for the kids tomorrow when I go visit my sister, but you just got to look in it. So I'm watching The Witcher right now, and I got to fold some boxes because I had been got some lashes in a couple weeks ago, and I had never put them in their packaging. So, and I never updated my inventory, and right now my inventory is getting real low, and I need to do... Um, a lash order but before I do that I need to figure out what I have from what I don't have and what I actually need so I'm not overly purchasing stuff I'm watching The Witcher as I do that I love sci-fi you guys know that if you have any sci-fi um, suggestions for me let me know Think anything Harry Potter anything Game of Thrones anything The Hobbit Lord of the Rings suggest it to me so I'll check back in with you guys later forgot to show you guys what I got from Sephora today. I got um, the Laneige fucking TikTok. Hold on. Now that that's settled. I got the Laneige um, moisture cream. If you know I had the water based cream but my face is like real dry since I've been doing like my acne peeling treatment. So it's been real dry and sensitive so I need more moisture. And I got I needed a, a serum. My um dermatologist said I needed a serum. I'm breaking out and I know it's because I need to wash my um my brushes as well. Oh my god. I ain't take my birth control today. That's crazy. That's crazy, Renee. Um, I need to wash my brushes. So I'll do that during the week because tomorrow when I go to my sister's house, it's probably gonna be the last day that I put on makeup until Friday. And today's Saturday, so going to my sister's house Sunday. Not putting on makeup until Friday, so yeah. Um, I got the Sunday Riley um 15% vitamin C brightening serum because she said I needed serum. I honestly could have went to the drugstore. She had gave me like this is this expensive brand. Well, it's not expensive, but it's expensive for a drugstore. I forgot how you said La La Rouge. La La, y'all seen it? And CVS they be keeping that shit in the little um plastic thing because people be selling it. Because it's a valuable, but this is it. And it's normally like 80 something dollars, but it was on sale. So I got it for $40, $42. I hope I don't really like it that much because I will not be repurchasing. I'm not one of them skincare junkies that's going to pay $80 for some oil. Shit. But anyway, we'll see. Because that's supposed to help with me wearing my sunscreen and everything. To brighten my hyperpigmentation, which my skin has been doing so good. I can't wait to do like a skincare video for you. You know what I actually hate though? Like this camera is so like this camera is so good to the point that like it picks up on everything. And it on screen, like my hyperpigmentation looks darker than it really does look in person. And that annoys me, but obviously I just have to get out of my own head because I know what it is. But I can't wait to do a video for you guys because honestly, like 
obviously I'm brown skin and you just have a shadow in your cheek like you have a natural contour some black women have it some people don't but I have like a natural contour so sometimes you see the contour and it'll look like hyperpigmentation is not um some people got it and some people don't oh but shot that but um I got this blush from Sephora I had bought another blush the last two weeks I really liked it and this one is called Tiger Lily. I love anything peachy for my cheeks. Y'all know that I've said that in the past. Um, yeah. So that's what I got. I also got a, um, a screen protector from Amazon. And I also got... I think I showed you this earlier in the vlog. I also got, yeah, this. And um, my, my flat iron curl line. And I'm going to make a video on how I curl my short hair with it. So, so I literally got nothing done. Everything that I said that I was going to do earlier was a fucking lie. Just, I've been tired. I've been tired since I walked in. And I was afraid to go to sleep too early. But, um... So I sat on the couch and I finished watching The Witcher. I did not fold one lash box. I did not do anything. I'm just going to have to do it during the week. Um... <sighs> right now i just put my sweater back on because i forgot i didn't take pictures in this eye look for my lash page look how oily my face is um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end the vlog here simply just because i think i did all i could do with y'all uh i am going to my sister's house in the morning so i might vlog but i don't really think i'm doing nothing but sitting up in her house and Y'all already know they don't really like being on the camera and shit. And I don't want to put their asses there anyway. But, um, we'll see. But 9 times out of 10, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the vlog. So, thanks so much for chilling with me. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload. And tell a friend to tell a friend to come here with me. Come chill with me, baby. Take me out of dinner. Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down 